Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing double integrals, but we're not going to be evaluating them this time. We're just going to simply be reversing the order of integration. Um, so we're going to switch the order around. Instead of doing dx dy, we're going to do dy dx, or instead of doing dy dx, we're going to do dx dy. Um, so let's start with this problem here. So the first thing I'd always recommend doing is you sketch out the limits of integration. Um, so um, on the outside, you would have y equals 1 and y equals 0, and on the inside, you have x equals the square root of y and x equals y. So uh, we're going to switch the limits of integration, as I said before. And if you plot everything out, you should get something like this. Um, so what I did was to get those graphs is I wrote everything with respect to y. So um, radical y is the same as y equals x squared and x equals y is the same as x equals y, or y equals x. Um, so you get to do that there. And we know that the outer limits of integration are y equals, so we have y equals 0 and y equals 1 shown in green. So now, that's kind of how I showed there, like it's also saying the same thing. So, um, now we have x equals 0 um, and x equals 1 as the uh, intersections. You can kind of notice I labeled the points, and we're looking for that shaded region in red. So to do that, we go for the regions we're starting at 0, and we're going to go to 1. Um, so that's for the x direction, because we're doing dy dx. And now we're going to go top minus bottom. So the top part of the shaded region would be the orange, which is y equals x. And the bottom would be y equals x squared. And that's pretty much the setup um, for switching the integration around. Now this rectangles, that number of rectangles that we're adding um, are in the horizontal, or excuse me, vertical direction, so that's why we did the top minus bottom thing there. So we'll try another one. So again, I'd recommend sketching out the limits of integration. Notice we have dy dx, so x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0 on the outside, and then we have y equals e to the x and y equals 1. So again, we're going to flip the order of, integ of integration, um, and to do that you get this here, you get this uh, kind of like a triangle here, but there's more of a curve to the hypotenuse. Um, so you simply sketch those out and make sure you label your points. That'd be key here. I always recommend doing that as well. So that's the given information here. So now what we're going to want to do um, is kind of draw out those lines. So we have y equals 1, and that's how we get, because we're going um, for the bounds there, to y equals e. Um, so we're going to go from 1 to e. So we do that there. And then... That's kind of like our horizontal range that we're going through. But now we also have this purple here. I just wanted to show the bounds um, for x equals 0 and x equals 1, where the triangle is also bounded by. Um, and you can also write that e to the x as ln of y, because we're going to need to write with respect to x. So x equals 1 to ln of y. And that's because right minus left. So the rightmost side um, over here is x equals 1, and the leftmost is the green, which is ln y. So that's that one. So now we're going to do one more. This one's kind of a uh, little bit more intuitive. So if you draw this here, um, you pretty much have bounded lines and another line going through it. But notice how we're, when we reverse the order of integration, we're going to have to have add these two areas up, this r1 and r2, because um, we're going to be changing the way we're integrating. So now that we know we have to split that up there by that purple, we're going to label that there. So the top part of what we're integrating with respect to y, um, the highest most part, we're at y equals 4. Um, and since we're only going to where that changes direction, we're at that point 1, 2, um, we're going to go to the 2 portion there. So now we need to write what the functions are we're integrating from. Uh, and I rewrote the function in green and purple as well. Um, so you just solve for x to uh, make sure you have it with respect to x. And that would be your top portion, portion, which is the green, minus the bottom portion, which we wanted to have as 2, or excuse me, 0. I think I screwed that up. That should be 2. And then go here. We have, we're going to go from 2 to 0 as well. And then make sure you have those bounds. I think I might have messed this one up. Um, I'm going to redo this later. Um, but hopefully these problems at least were helpful um, in evaluating the problem here. So uh, just kind of, I definitely recommend practicing uh, flipping the limits of integration because 
Um, you're going to want to know how equations are rewritten in terms of x and y, and also one of them is generally easier than the other. So if you can figure that out before you just jump straight into the problem, you'll be way better off in terms of solving them. So best of luck to you.